name of Jesus Christ. What have you done to her? Confusion. How many of you are in this body? How many of you? Not calling you. Speak in the name of Jesus Christ. You are powerless. I have the power of the name Jesus Christ at my command. Try. try I command try, you. Try, try. How many of you are in this body? I'm strong. You are strong. Now your time has expired. You are leaving her now. No. You are leaving. No. I said you are living in the name of Jesus. Leave her alone. In the name of Jesus Christ. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Okay, leave, leave her, leave her, leave her, leave her in the name of Jesus Christ. Be cast out, be cast out, out, out in Jesus' name. That's the end in the name of jesus christ thank you lord can you please tell us your name and where you are from i'm ruth tan i'm from singapore ruth did you come all the way from singapore to this conference yes i did ruth that is about eight thousand miles away from here what compelled you to come to this conference I've been wanting to come to this conference three years ago. Um, I saw it in Facebook and uh, I registered online. I made up my mind to come. And what was the reason? Why were you so compelled and wanting to come here to receive prayer? Um, I know that I have something in me that I need to deliverance. Yes, and I, yes, I want to have a touch of God from John G. And can you tell us what was happening in your life that you knew that there was something operating behind the scenes saying that this is not God, this is not how a child of God should live? What were you experiencing in your life? Mm, I felt like I'm being caged and my marriage break down after 25 years then I realized that my husband hid his homosexuality from me for 25 years I did seek all help counseling and everywhere was blocked rejected Friends left me, and even, yes, I don't have the financial. I lost my financial support, and also my children, they are very broken. And after all of these things were taking place in your life, what did you do to search out for a solution for your life? What did you do? For the first three years, I didn't know what to do. I was quite depressed. I did look for all kinds of help. Yeah, and I was looking for answer why I'm in this deception and well the Lord did give me directions as I continue to cling to him and 
the next three years, the Lord revealed to me that I need a deliverance. So um, I went to many places for deliverance, but they failed to deliver me. I can battle for one hour, there's no deliverance. And can you tell us when you came here and you were here at the prayer line, can you tell us what they just saw? What were you experiencing and what happened in the end? Um, at first, yeah, just like normal, I, once I'm being touched, I will start to manifest. But this time, actually, I have the confidence that if I manifest, John Chi will deliver me. So, but he actually walked away from a step and I thought okay that's it but he came back for me and I was so glad and and I manifested even more I cannot control I I I I know I have my own senses but I could not control what I said my actions the way I'm so violent, I can't control it at all. <laughs> and we know that was because there was a spirit that was operating behind the scenes in your life. But at the end, Apostle John Chi, as he was finishing praying for you, he said and he stated that you are free. Do you believe that you are free? Yes, I do. When I get up, I know that the battle is over. The battle is over. Amen. Praise be to God. And Ruth, can you tell us what are you expecting when you go back home with this freedom and with this deliverance? I believe that you'll be very different from me. And I believe God will set me on higher ground. Yes. And I believe that God has raised me to deliver. Come on. Ruth, for those that might be struggling as well and those that are watching on live stream, what would you advise them? What would you tell them? Continue to seek the Lord and cling to Him. He will instruct you and lead you to liberty. Amen.